Teenagers in Montana say that a 19-year-old woman broke into her ex-house-boyfriends and then raped him with a machete when he came home. Samantha Mears was arrested June 22 on a lot of different charges. The incident took place in Great Falls, Montana. There were felony charges against Mears for aggravated burglary, and assault with a weapon, as well as misdemeanor charges for unjust restraint, assault on a loved one, and two counts of criminal mischief. Samantha Mears broke into the victim's house on June 22 when no one else was home. The Great Falls police were called to the scene around 11 p.m. after a report of a fight. He told police that Mears broke into the home while the victim, who was at a gas station, and all of the home's other tenants were away. When the victim came home, he saw a few things that were out of place. Mears came out from behind the bedroom door, and he came up behind him from behind and held a machete to his neck. Mears then told him to get on the bed and take off his clothes. He did what she asked because he was afraid for his safety. He didn't think he could leave the room at this time because he might get hurt. When he was on the bed, Mears took off her pants and crawled on top of him. He had sex with Mears after he got excited when he saw her without any underwear on. Before he could push Mears away, he let go of him. Mears then bit him on the left arm and kept having sex with him until he was no longer able to stand. The guy had a mark on his left arm that looked like he had been bit by a pit bull. With her back against the wall, Mears then sat down on the bed with the machete still in her hand. In the next step, he took pictures of Mears in that position, which were then given to the police. There was then a fight between Mears and him. A large piece of trim was ripped off the wall by Mears during the fight. Mears then urinated on herself while she was sitting on the bed, which wasn't an accident. When the victim heard his sister come into the house, the court documents say that was the last thing he heard about it. He sent her a text and told her to leave. It kept going on and on, so the victim called 911 pretending to be calling a man named Doug, so he didn't tell Mears he was calling for help. Because Mears still had the machete, it took him a while before he was able to get out of the room. Then, he grabbed his sister and they fled from the house as police came. During her 20-year commitment, Mears will also have to undergo sex offender programming and she will be designated a Tier 2 sex offender. If you do something like this in Montana, you could be punished by up to 40 years in prison. This is a felony. Assault with a weapon is also a felony, and it could get you up to 20 years in prison. Mears was also charged with a number of misdemeanors that can lead to time in jail, as well.